the Newport Jazz Festival's first home was the Newport Casino, the birthplace of American lawn tennis and the original home of the U.S. Open. Backing for the festival came from Louis and Elaine Lorillard, who wanted to liven up the Newport summer season. I went to see John Hammond, who was a music critic in New York, and he said, well, I'll give you a list of names of people to help you do it. And one of them was George Wayne. A young musician, entrepreneur, and jazz club owner from Boston, George Wien had a knack for organizing concerts that helped make the Newport Jazz Festival a success from the very beginning. It's nice to be here at the casino after all these years. We started here in 1954. People said that we think we were going to have uh, uh, as many years of success as we did. Well, I said we called it the first annual festival, so we must have thought something when we came up with the plan. What we never dreamed was that there would be so many festivals throughout the entire world. The great pleasure in my life that I've derived from this is the fact that I think we have created a world influence. You could buy a ticket for as little as $3 in 1954. 65 performers appeared during the two nights of the first festival. Among them were some of the greatest names in jazz. The Newport elite, more accustomed to string quartets and society orchestras, mingled with thousands of young jazz fans. Everyone loved the music. Since then, the Newport name has become synonymous with exciting, quality jazz. It has showcased jazz artists, both young and old, and inspired a love and appreciation of this unique American music all over the world. Newport will always be number one.